The self rescue technique allows you to disable your kite, safely pack away your lines, and use the kite as a float. This video will explain the steps of the self rescue in detail, as well as a quick run through of the whole procedure. Your first step is to disable the kite. You do this using the eject on your chicken loop. The kite should rest downwind of you on the water with almost no power. The bar and three lines should have traveled several meters along the safety line so that there is a lot of slack in these lines. Having slack in these lines means the kite cannot fly or generate much power. Now that your kite is fully depowered and unable to fly, the next step is to get near to the bar. Pull yourself along the safety line. Be careful not to wrap the line around your hand or body. Try to keep the excess safety line on one side of you to avoid getting tangled. Stop just before reaching the bar. You are now next to the bar. Next, we must secure the excess safety line onto the side of the bar. Loop the excess safety line onto the bar end. A few loops will provide enough friction to secure the safety line. In front of you, the safety line should look taut and the other lines should have several meters of slack. This means the kite cannot fly. Next, continue to wrap away all of the excess safety line so that you can't get tangled. When you get to the end, use your bungees or a simple hand tie to hold the excess line in place. Now the safety line is shortened and secured, you are free to wrap up all of the lines. Wrap your lines in figures of eight across your bar. Make sure you are wrapping the correct number of lines. If you have a four line bar, you must be wrapping four lines. If you have a five line bar, you must be wrapping five lines, etc. At all times, you should see that the safety line has tension and that the other lines have several meters of slack. If not, the kite could start flying. Note, if the kite starts flying or pulling during a self rescue, you can let go of the bar and eject your leash to free yourself from the kite. When you reach the kite, you should secure all lines onto the bar end. You can use a hand tie as shown before, although this may be difficult if the kite is pulling. You can also loop the lines around the bar end and cover with a bungee. Now your lines are secured on the bar, you can simply place your bar onto the kite and lay on top of it for flotation. This should help you get back to safety and helps to make you more visible. If you need to, you can use your kite as a basic sail. Flip your kite over this way. You can then pull the bridle on your left or the bridle on your right to use the kite as a sail. Use the chicken loop eject to drop and disable the kite.
Work your way along the safety line to get near the bar. When you reach the bar, wrap the excess safety line on the bar end. Use bungees or a hand tie to secure excess safety line. Pack away all of your lines in figures of eight. When you reach the kite, secure all lines together on the bar end. You can now use the kite as a float. If needed, use the kite as a sail.